It's Ryan again, and welcome to Creating a Project. In JIRA, a project is a collection of issues. Each project sits on and is managed using a board. When we create new projects in JIRA software, we create new boards as well. In this tutorial, we'll quickly create a new project and by extension, a new board. Let's do it. We're on the projects page now, where new projects are created. Note that JIRA administrators typically handle these tasks. Here, I'm walking you through the steps just to make you aware of exactly what happens. Click Create Project. Then decide what type of project your team requires. Here are the default selection scrum, but you can click Change to view additional project types. To confirm the project type, just click Select. Next, give your project a name. Once you do, the system will automatically assign that project a key, which you can see by clicking Advanced. The key will appear as a prefix on all issues for the project going forward. Finish creating the new project by clicking Create. Now the new project and backlog are ready for new issues. Let's discuss project keys. A project key is an important piece of identification used to track what issues belong to which projects. Issues assigned to a particular project have a specific key. You can use that project key to quickly locate issues when you need them using search. You can change the project key by typing in a new key during the initial setup. Be sure this new key will work long term. It's not a trivial task to change it later. Once you've created your project, you can go to Project Settings and View and Update Project Details. The project lead is typically the project's primary manager and is, by default, the person who created the project. There's only one project lead. The default assignee is set to unassigned by default, but you can change it to the project lead. If you do, they'll be assigned all new work items, which we call issues, created for this project. Let's take a few moments to review what we have learned. Take some time to apply what you've learned in your own projects. Check out Atlassian University for more great JIRA tutorials. 